Good morning, adventurers. We are here in Hollywood Studios today. We have not been to this park in quite some time because it was almost impossible to get park passes over the uh, Christmas time. Like all of December, it was completely booked. So I don't think we've been here since October, which is a long time. Uh, we're going to check out one of the stores, see if there's anything new happening right now. Yeah, so far the only new thing I've seen in any of the stores is this magic, this uh, Mickey ears, mini ears right here is, these are Run Disney ears. It's kind of neat. So we heard the music come on for the cavalcade. We stepped out of the store. It is the Disney Junior cavalcade. There's Fancy Nancy and Doc McStuffins in their car. And Vampirina, I love that car. That is the best one of the, the bunch. So I happened to look over and I noticed that the stores over on this side of the street are now open. These have been closed for a very long time. We're gonna take a walk in there. But this is where you can get some of your, or at least it used to be where you go to get your Star Wars merchandise. So definitely less Star Wars merchandise. It looks like they've converted most of it to uh, Avengers, at least in this section. Some neat shirts though. So they do still have some Star Wars merchandise. It looks like the store is like half and half. Half, half Marvel and half uh, Star Wars. Which I kind of make sense. I mean, they have the whole Star Wars galaxy and a whole shopping area down there. Those are neat, some Sith mini busts. Some interesting decoration here. There's a Wayfinder. That's neat. Wow, I just found the price on those uh, Sith Wayfinders and they are $50, $49.99. That's kind of expensive for a little decoration. And they got some uh, remote control or interactive yeah, no, remote control uh, droids. Now, I wonder if these are the same ones that you build down in Star Wars Edge, Galaxy's Edge? Yeah. Just like pre-packaged, or are these completely different? This is kind of cute. It's an entire wall of child, the child uh, dolls. It's kind of neat. It says, try me. How do you try me? Let's see. I don't know. I don't see where you try me. And it says push. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Yeah, neat. So the first thing that we are going to do is something we have not had the chance in so long. We are going to go into the Frozen sing-along because that is finally open. So exciting. Yay. We have missed the live shows. Hopefully they start bringing back more of them. Well, I was wrong. The, their, their first show is all booked up. Um, not a huge surprise, but next show is 12.30. We'll see if we can get that. I think in the meantime, we're gonna go wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So they have changed the queue line setup slightly. They're uh, utilizing the stage area here as part of the queue. Uh, before they used to enter you over there and then the line started somewhere there. Uh, now it's, it's they've extended the line. I'm not sure why. Maybe they're expecting more traffic. Kind of interesting. Um, the line definitely appears a whole lot longer than the last time we were in Hollywood Studios, but the wait time is uh, less. So I know they were planning to increase capacity on some rides by installing more plexiglass and, and such, and I, I'm betting that this is probably one of the rides that they have installed more plexiglass and they're doing full train seating rather than the spaced out. We're going into the cartoon world through the, TV, the movie screen. run amok park trains. Yep, so they have installed uh, the plexiglass between the cars, so now they are loading, yeah. Right, so they, they are loading much faster because now it's not one family per car. So you will be seated with other people. And off we go.
one was going all wrong. Oh, All right, so now we are going to try, maybe, to do the frozen ride. We are cutting it a little close. We may have missed the next showing. All right, so unfortunately, we missed the next show again. So they said if you want to guarantee yourself a spot, get here 30 minutes prior to the show, because you know there's obviously no fast pass, and it's a first come, first serve basis. All right, so this time, I think we successfully got here in time to get into the show. Yay, I'm so happy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Disney's Hollywood Studios welcomes you to, for the first time in forever, a frozen sing-along celebration. Welcome to New Series Special Day! Well, it's a special day because for the first time in, well, forever, Elsa and I are celebrating the Arendelle Festival! I'm Anna. Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, and I'm honored to introduce to you the Arendelle Royal Historian! <laughs> Oh, good. They have some of the, the people from before. I'm so glad that they're back. And I am Sir Eric. Oh, oh, oh. When were you united? Eric. Oh. I'm just Eric. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks for the beginning. It was a dark and stormy night. No, it wasn't. Where should we start? Oh, it was a beautiful day in the kingdom of Arendelle. And there were two sisters that loved each other very much. Princess Elsa and Princess Anna. And then the saddest thing happened. No more snowmen? No more snowmen! Oh, hey, can we do the song? Yes, but keep your face coverings on! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Elsa? Do you want to build a snowman? An awesome talking snowman named... Olaf! Yeah. Swarm hogs in summer! I like summer. I do not love this I guy. love much. Summer? <gasps> oh, I don't know why, but I've always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. nope. <laughs> but sometimes I like to close my eyes. When does a good time to stay and cuddle? But put me in summer and I'll be a puddle! Happy snowman! Steam. <laughs> we'll be blue. And you guys will be there too. Well, it's getting cold in here. That can only mean one thing. Well, I hope so. Then we can really celebrate here at Del Festival. <laughs> to finally see that show and yes i sang like a dork through the whole thing i'm not ashamed of it now i think we're gonna head off for some lunch so there's quite a crowd of people coming in and out of galaxy's edge uh today i don't know it doesn't it, except for the view from right here it doesn't seem that busy but there are a lot of people just like sitting around everywhere I think we just happened to be looking for food at a very busy time because all of the other mobile orders were a long, long wait. So we're gonna do Pizza Rizzo's because it was the first thing available. There also seems, there's also a lot of seating inside, so I'm hoping that we'll get to at least sit down somewhere to eat. So we got a bunch of pizzas and we've tried these before. I'll leave a link to that video in the back, but we came back to our favorite room because the kids love the, the lights and the music. So I just noticed there is a penny press machine up here in the upper floor of Pizza Rizzo. So if you're looking for penny presses, 
They got the Pizza Rizzo Penny and Frozen and the Incredibles. All right, well that lunch was very satisfying. <laughs> uh, it wasn't, it's not bad for uh, Disney. The price is okay and the food's not ter terrible. So, I think that'll be it for this time for now. We're gonna break the video right here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now it's your turn. Come on down, join the adventure, and I'll see you next time.